Good afternoon, people watching at 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture out of Isaiah 54, 10. And it says, For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord that hath mercy on thee. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. That's how we're saved, why we're saved, and how we're kept saved, through his death, burial, and resurrection. It is grace. Something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve. That God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. Then you're rapture ready. You're already rapture ready when you get saved. The rapture is getting ready to happen at any time. Any time now. And you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, and change you if you let him. In other words, you got to be in his word. you got to let him be in his word. This came out off of Hal Turner. I know. I know. Hateful Hal, right? But unfortunately, Hateful Hal has lots of news. This is one of them. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation has announced an urgent meeting of foreign ministers scheduled today. Now, this meeting... Uh, was supposed to take place, I don't know whether they're still taking place now or what, but the gathering will take place at the OIC General Secretariat Headquarters, commencing at 1600 local time. Now, I don't know whether that's local time for them or local time for us, but 1600, I think, is 4 o'clock. Because if that's 1600 for them, I don't think they go by military time. So that must be 1600 here for local time. That's still going on. Okay, so what time is it over there? 11.44. It's 6.44 over there now. So that must be 1600 local time. And it says, it's now believed that Iran will wait. Until after this meeting. Any action regarding Israel, uh, Hanania, and Tehran, they are going to wait until after this meeting is convened. U.S. officials are confident that Hezbollah and Iran's response is imminent. So like I said, it's just a matter of time. And what I, and like I said before, they don't know this, but the Lord is, I, like I said, he's holding this back. To get as many people saved as possible. Of course, they're unaware of that right now. But that's what it's for. The Lord is doing this. Like I said, he's not going to do it for long. And like I said, who knows? It might be today that we see the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It might be. His meeting's over at 1600 local time here. So I'm, I gotta say that that must be 1600 our time. Because it's past 4 o'clock over there already. Now, what else is going on right now is. And this is also off of Hal Turner. And it says here that <sighs> a 
And this bulletin, this came out actually yesterday. And it says that um, the Israeli Defense Force has decided they will engage in preemptive strikes against Hezbollah in Lebanon before Hezbollah and or Iran can strike Israel back for Hananye. So, earlier today, there was a situation, I, and this was last night. I did this. It's a situation in the White House situation room where Biden and senior administration officials were told that the war would begin today. It also goes on to say in that story, I wondered aloud how they could be so certain since it's Iran that decides when they attack Israel for the assassination that um, happened. One of the options that was outlined in that covert hotel, uh, intel story that I had said yesterday was the possibility that the U.S. knew the start date because Israel would attack preemptively. Now it appears that assessment was right. That assessment was right. They are going to attack today. Now, unless God can hold, unless God, not God can, unless he holds this back, there will be war starting today. It's probably going to be after that meeting that they're having right now. And that meeting is what they're going to do, how they're going to attack, what it, whatever. They can come up with all kinds of BS to say what it is. <clears throat> but that meeting is about that. It's about this war with Israel and what they're going to do. <clears throat> they now know that Israel is going to attack them preemptively. If Israel is planning on attacking them preemptively, then Iran is going to come up with something too. Uh, it says here that I can confirm that Israel is going to preemptively attack Hezbollah. So now that it, now that Hezbollah and Iran knows this, they're going to try something, uh, something now. <coughs> Excuse me. It says, as such, there is now no doubt that the war will begin today. Now, I'm going to tell you why I believe that. After that storm that we had yesterday here, And after today's magnitude 5.2 earthquake that shook Southern California that was felt at Dodger Stadium today, something is getting ready to happen. Something is getting ready to happen. Now, uh, <laughs> this actually happened yesterday evening. This actually happened yesterday evening. The earthquake. This happened in the evening. And I'm wondering if it happened the same time these storms hit Ohio. I have to wonder this. Something is getting ready to happen. You can, you can mark my words for that. God is getting ready to move. And he's getting ready to probably move us out of here. I got tickets for the air show. Because my... Uh, we, that's a tradition that we do every year. The Cleveland International Air Show. I might not even go. Might not even get a chance to go. That's how close this thing is. I'm telling you, I feel it with every fiber of my being that we're, something is getting ready to go off. A 5.2 magnitude earthquake struck uh, Southern California on Tuesday evening, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The tr uh, it was struck, the trembler was struck at 9.09 p.m. 
9 p.m. We were still getting storms here. That was six, that's about six, five, six oh nine here. We were still getting storms here. 18 miles southwest of Bakersfield and was felt across a wide area of Southern California. The initial quake was followed by more than a dozen aftershocks, but there have been no reports of damage or casualties. Now, if this thing was 18 miles southwest a Bakersfield and it was felt at Dodger Stadium that's a pretty big quake to say that's putting it mildly but no one no damage occurred there's a 99% chance at least one or more aftershock magnitudes of three or higher will happen the likelihood of a magnitude of five aftershock was put at 25% while the level, while a level six was after, uh, was higher than 3%. So tremors felt at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles during a game between the LA Dodgers and the uh, Philadelphia Phillies. Moderate shakes were felt in, uh, in and around the area which lasted for about a second 1.1 seconds with light shakes felt in Bakersfield that's a long that's a stretch Bakersfield is I mean there ain't nothing in Bakersfield but a bunch of cows and 2.2 seconds and there were uh weak shakes in Los Angeles according to the shake alert preliminary summary although no damage was reported two lanes of southbound I-5 freeway south of the grapevine will be or were, had to be closed uh, while emergency services cleared a boulder in the road I've traveled that road so many times when I was in California the grapevine that connects northern California to southern California okay it's a five hour stretch coming from uh, Northern California, like San Jose, the uh, Silicon Valley. If you're traveling that road, you have a boring, very smelly, because you can smell the cows, very boring trip going to Southern California. And those of you who live there, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I hated the grapevine. If I had to go to Southern California, I would purposely take 101 because it's all ocean. It's ocean. There, uh, The network showed a video of people running out of the local shop and they felt the shaking before several items were thrown into the shelves on the, on the ground. I'm telling you right now, something's about to happen. This world as we know it is about to change. Now, I don't know what that meeting is that they're having over there, but something is going on. For real. Something is going on. Between that earthquake, these storms that we had here, I'm telling you, tornadoes hit here in Ohio that had never, I'd never known a tornado to hit before. When they said warning, it perked me up. I'm like, where is the warning? Because at first it was a thunderstorm watch. Then all of a sudden it turned into a tornado warning. It That was a huge jump. So... I'm going to link this in the description box. I'm going to keep track of whatever is happening because I can feel that something, like I said, I, I, I can't shake the feeling. Something is about to happen. I don't know when. I don't know where. I don't know what. But it's a, it's a feeling that I have of anticipation. So, but I will be back later. And we will see. Thank you.